this morning, a magnitude 8.1 earthquake struck off the eastern coast, causing multiple casualties, wiping out power and infrastructure in several towns and spreading panic about a possible tsunami threat. All communications in the area have been knocked out and the earthquake has caused massive structural damage and left several hundred stranded and vulnerable, with the lives of many in jeopardy. Welcome to a behind-the-scenes look at a typical rescue HQ and witness firsthand how the coordination of this relief effort is orchestrated. The successful coordination and management of a rescue and relief operation requires a central base where all information is gathered and distributed to all participating teams. The rescue HQ we have here plays a critical role in ensuring all teams on the ground have the most up-to-date information and can see where help is most urgently required. This information is communicated via the Inmarsat BGAN satellite network, providing interoperable voice and data connectivity on land, sea and air across the world. The first responders arrive on the scene and deploy Inmarsat's handheld satellite phone, the ISAT Phone Pro. They can immediately begin to coordinate the logistics of the relief effort using this robust high-quality voice service. Hello, Mission Control here. We've just arrived at Ground Zero. It's utter chaos. Uh, we're pulling out the first casualties now. Is the telemedicine area set up? Copy that. Proceed to the Coordinates Advisory Mission Pack. We have medical experts standing by, connected via BGAN to provide remote assistance. Over. Here we see a visualization of the Inmarsat 4 network and the coverage provided over the stricken zone. The BGAN i4 platform is able to dynamically allocate voice and data resources where most needed in real time. This is Flight Pegasus 10 Bravo. We are now in location above the affected zone. Over. Copy that. Start transferring the live video stream so we can observe and advise. Over. With the surveillance aircraft circling the emergency zone and using its onboard cameras, the aircraft is able to capture and transmit video and images back to Rescue HQ in real time. This is achieved via the Swift Broadband Satellite Service. The Swift Broadband antenna on the aircraft enables us to transfer our data back here to Rescue HQ and our Situation Awareness Platform. Here we can build a bird's eye view of what's happening on the ground and make decisions based on this information in real time. This complete situational awareness capability is vital in the success of any rescue operation. It's now been several hours after the earthquake struck. Emergency medical teams on the ground are receiving remote medical assistance. Surveillance aircraft have assessed the lay of the land and rescue teams have established voice and data communications, all via the Inmarsat network. This just in, military teams have been called in to assist with operations in the most critical areas. We will provide further updates as things progress. Using the Fleet Broadband Service, the Coast Guard are communicating with the surveillance aircraft and back here at Rescue HQ. Using GPS location data, they're able to pinpoint where vessels will capsize in the bay to help their search and rescue operations. Because of the sheer scale of the event, traditional UHF comms are limited. In order to work around this, and more effectively coordinate the mission, the LTAC service from Imarsat is deployed. This allows disparate teams to communicate beyond line of sight with their existing UHF radios. As a requirement for more communications increases with the arrival of more relief teams, a temporary 3G network is deployed and backhauled via BGAN. This gives teams on the ground the ability to immediately use their 3G smartphones and tablets to help with the relief effort. As the relief effort rolls out and demand for bandwidth increases, the new Inmarsat Global Express KA band service will come into play. While traditional VSAT networks take days or weeks to install, Global Express can be accessed in minutes and will provide a high-speed data connection both to and from the affected area. This service is able to meet the diverse communications demands of all the relief teams. We've witnessed Inmarsat provide crucial voice and data communication links from the arrival of the first responders within hours of the crisis. The I-4 network was then used extensively in the coordination and management of the rescue and relief operation and will continue to provide a vital communications backbone as rebuilding of infrastructure and relief efforts continue. 
Inmarsat's robust broadband global communication platform has underpinned the success of this mission.